man, it's Monday's grind time. It's early in the week. So, you know, just get to it. You know, it's nothing else. It's nothing else to think about. You know, you just you get up and you do what you got to do. And, um, you know, everyone's going to come and do what they got to do too as well. So, it should be fun. It should be a good day today. Hey, yeah. I've been on the move like a military kid. Gotta do what I gotta do, even if it's even if it's bad, man. Get straight man, to the knee. No Hop. Had to make some Stepping on the outside, moving go. your head all the way around. Born rich to my core. 13, 17, once some more. Yeah. Once some more. Everything paid for. Paid for. It. All she gotta do is do the chores. Then she get to rock that new Dior. Hey. Niggas trying to keep up with the score. Money too tall, y'all doors. From the window to the wild, I'll force. Know how we I'm just relaxing, it's just work, you know what I mean? So having your uh, your mindset come in, like excited to do your job, excited to get to new techniques and new, um, kind of a new week. I like excitement. If you have a case of the Mondays, like the movie says, then you need to find a different job. Monday morning is MMA day, so we basically come in with our small gloves on, no shin pads, so you kind of get a more realistic feel of an MMA fight. So we do like a lot of drills where you can see the punches coming in, because you know a lot of times when you spar with the big gloves, you don't really have a realistic look. So Mondays are kind of geared towards giving you that real MMA look. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't nobody out here flossing, dude. I mean, people think John's Corvette's like super flossing. It's hey. just like a super sport Z06. Yeah, bro. You know? We're just hanging out you in the desert. No, you don't see no Bentleys in the garages around this motherfucker. <laughs> right? Just grind. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hey, look. Hey, look. Look at Diego right here. That motherfucker been employed by UFC for 18 years, bro. 19 years now, right? Blessing. Blessings. Yeah, that's our word of the day. If you're just gonna hit back up, that's fine. But if you're gonna engage, I'm gonna go hit, outstep on this angle, and I want that body shot right there. If you guys wanna use your toes to get the liver, that's fine. If you wanna do a kick to get the body, that's fine too. You can even go upstairs if you need to. This hand is low. Right now, it's mainly just kind of get off the pounds that we have on right now, right? Um, get her in shape somewhat. Um, and then just, yeah, like you said, as the weeks go on, then we'll start to make them a little bit harder on her. We'll do simulation rounds where now they're a lot more intense. We're switching out opponents uh, every round, or if not two per round. Uh, so now we'll make it, we want a fresh body every single minute or two minutes. Just came in yesterday back at Jackson Wink after a good first impression, good first camp. We got the W. And then they set me up to fight with one of the number one guys here in this gym, number two guy behind John. And uh, Greg Jackson still, you know, allowed me to be in his class. He told me it's up to me. If I felt uncomfortable, then, you know, that's, it's, uh, it's my choice to come to the class. You know, how gracious is, is this team and these athletes? Uh, I'm gonna fight one of their own, but I'm becoming one of their own, you know? Maybe it's my time. You know, the situation between Mike Perry and Cowboy Cerrone is, it's a unique one. You know, we are all one team. Um, but the UFC kind of does what they want, and they put the matchups that, that they think are fan-friendly fan together. Um, but as far as respect, man, Mike, Mike Perry's doing everything he can to, to show respect to Cowboy and to the team because he, he's still new here. He's not trying to step on anybody's toes. He asked permission to come to Greg Jackson's class because Greg's going to be in Cowboy's corner. You know, myself and Coach Wink are going to be in Mike's corner. And that's just how it is. And, and this is business, you know, and this is the fight business. And sometimes teammates and friends have to fight each other. I mean, the coolest part is there is no bad blood. There's nothing but respect between Mike Perry and Cowboy Cerrone, and you know, it's gonna be a hell of a fight, man. That's what's cool about it, so that's it. We starting our week off right. We ain't starting it off being lazy. We actually starting it off doing something, so it prepares us for what's to come for the rest of the week, you know? So without the Mondays, if you don't show up on Monday, God dang, man, I feel sorry for you because <clears throat> you got a rest of the week ahead of you. You ain't even started off right. Come on, now. Just that ability to overcome when 
Your mind says no, I didn't have good rest last night, my eyes don't want to open, the cup of coffee ain't working, and you get in here and you just start fighting, and uh, you're, you're, you come to life, and uh, it's one of the one of my favorite things about Monday, you know, we're just, just waking it up by getting hit in the face, <laughs> or hitting someone in the face. Come on, let's get to work, baby. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh. Best protein in the world. Got my face on it, but Dr. Anita is my wife's face on it. It's free. Try it. See if you guys like it. I want you guys to check it out. Give us your feedback, right? So it's free. Wait, anyway, continue. Go. So Jackson Week is unleashing our own protein. So we have um, vanilla hue, and we have the most awesome chocolate egg white you've ever had in your life. Limited ingredients, so um, one of the things that we were concerned about is like artificial sweeteners, additives, colors, anything that might get flagged. So it's just protein, it's got naturally sweet stevia, has some turmeric for antioxidant properties, recovery and all of that kind of stuff. So we're just letting our fighters sample it today. Today's kind of like the big launch. So uh, have some. It's gonna be the best you ever had. All right, right cool. Now. It is pretty good. Now you gotta try the chocolate. I like the chocolate better. This is the next generation right here. Oh, there's bananas in this. Uh -huh. This is the next generation. I like them both. I like them both. That's great, yeah. High levels of protein, we get like 31 grams of protein. I know my profit point is a lot, uh, I, I can price a lot less than everybody else. And uh, it's one of the things the fighters use. So Dr. Anita's approved it. She's our nutritionist. I know it's good stuff. And it does taste damn good. Every Monday, it feels like it's a war, but you're, like Sunday night, I already get like butterflies because you know you want to get in there, you want to start to work, especially right after um, after a pay per view or after teammates have just finished fighting and they won. It's a good morale, so everybody wants to, wants that same feeling. You know, it's uh, you, it's sometimes it's kind of undescribable. You get in here and you you feel motivated more than you did the week before, and every. Every practice you feel more motivated no matter how run down your body feels, you know? One more. How you just showing up? The bodies here are always changing. The styles are always diverse and uh, keeps my mind sharp and ready for anything. So, you know, my other team had had great athletes, but it was like the same two people smashing me all the time. And uh, I just need a different look. So, happy to be here, baby. Let's go to work. As a, as a fighter who, who sacrifices so much, you just, you just don't want to let go all these sacrifices and, and, and notice. You want to make it count. And when you want to make it count, you go with a killer instinct in the cage. And when you go with a killer instinct in the cage, you kill people. You finish them. There's no such thing as taking prisoners. No, we don't take prisoners. I always believe when, when in a war, you shouldn't take any prisoners. Because prisoners, when you let them lose, they'll, they'll turn back. They'll turn, their, they'll turn against you again, and they'll call you out and come after you and make your life miserable. No, you should be righteous. You should finish all of them equally by knocking them out. Secret camera. sauce. No secret stuff. No filming the secret sauce. Can't 
saying? Get that face. Get that face. Find out the purchase. Get that face. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> don't act like I don't do this shit. Yeah, I'm tired. But that's the whole idea behind training like this. Train with the will to die. One day in your life. Just try. Train with the will to die. Just a miss with Mike Curry. It's his first day back in camp, so he's a little rusty. He's been partying. You rusty. You rusty. You rusty. Always bending the knees, we're always protected. You can't throw a, a punch like this, leaving yourself wide open. Remember, this arm protects your chin, right? If it's like this, I'm open right here. So we want to go to the body where we lower that level, lower that level. My, my philosophy is to build proper defaults. So uh, in class, uh, when they're training with each other, uh, certain tendencies happen, uh, fun tendencies, but under dynamic stress, under fight stress, what do they default under? So what I'm trying to do is create thoughtless defaults. So when they're training, that they understand uh, defensively and offensively what I'm asking for, but that they have the proper skill set under stress when they're in a thoughtless process. Uh, fighting is a very emotional, uh, uh, a lot of people make it a fearful thing. Uh, my whole concept is fighting is fun, man, right? If some people are designed for fighting, some people um, come into this sport and they're not actual fighters in the heart. They could be athletes, and then when it comes time to be a fighter, they might bounce out. It might be something they're not familiar with. So I'm trying to let them understand with my experiences uh, how tough this sport really is, to be honest with them, uh, to speak truth to them. Uh, I'm not about praising and worshiping all day because it gives people a false sense of reality. Uh, here at this gym, we're very, uh, very direct and very open and honest with people on how tough uh, the sport is and, and that they chose to do it. Nobody's forcing them to do it, that they chose to do it. Building, building champions from the ground up. Champions, from baby. From the ground up. Building champions from the ground up. 505 all day. Hey. All, right. all day, baby. All right, toughness on three. One, two, three. Toughness! You know, we just wrapped up a great workout. We were almost done, and John pulled in a bunch of the young guns. And we started showing them the sequence we were doing, and then asking them to collaborate, to put in their input. And now it's an hour and a half later. Everybody's vibing. We thought a lot of good ideas. We came up with a lot of good, creative, new techniques. And, uh, and that's it. We're just sharpening each other. We're trying to expand this game. We're trying to push each other to new limits, and, and we're growing and strengthening this bond as we do it. You know, I think what keeps us so close is um, is just the way we, we structure our practices. You know, we have amateurs and pros working out at the same time on the same mats. Um, so, um, you know, it's like, like I tell a lot of the fighters, you know, they come here and I tell them, you know, don't expect to work with Greg Jackson all the time. Don't expect to work with uh, Winkle John all the time, you know. Because um, you won't get time with those guys a lot of times. What makes this team special is that, um, you know, you get to rub elbows with people like Carlos Condit and, and, you know, Holly Holm, you know, guys like myself, you know what I mean? And uh, a lot of us higher level fighters, you know, we could be coaches in our own right. So, so, you know, a lot of things I've learned from throughout my career, a lot of it came from my teammates. Uh, granted, you know, Greg Jackson and Mike have taught me a tremendous amount. But a lot of, my, a lot of the things I've learned has come from the teammates. So I think that's what... What makes this place really special is um, is uh, just the closeness between the amateurs and the pros and just uh, everyone's willingness to teach each other and show each other new things. You know, nights like this, this is what this is what makes guys like John Jones the best. In here grinding, and there is no fight, there is no nothing scheduled. They're just coming in here and getting better. And and every legendary fighter I've seen walk through these doors was that guy and has been able to stay that guy to just come in here and learn from whether it's that amateur guy or from another legendary fighter that walks through here but just keep getting better and evolving every day it's so easy in this game to get stuck in your ways stuck in your routines and then you got you know dudes on every side of the globe trying to strategize for your downfall so you've got to continue to expand continue to grow and embrace that grind because this ain't it ain't easy it ain't easy walking here every day and you know for me as a coach to just take these shots day in day out and there is no camp and the great fighters i see play things the same way
that, you know, bruised, battered, tired, frustrated, you know what, they come back in here with a clear mind, focus, put in a good workout, good sweat, and walk out of here free.